so we have uh, left Yates Center, our house for the week. Uh, we are on our way to Emporia. Uh, Kalje has to do the media meeting, so that he knows what to do tomorrow on course. Caro and I will do yeah, an hour of activation, some efforts, and yeah, then uh, we have to pick up our numbers, um, have a walk over the expo, then the rest of the day is again about laying down, sitting down, uh, relaxing, eating. Um, um, I think we have to wake up around 3.30, 3.45 a.m. in the morning. Uh, and the start will be 5.50. But yeah, about the race, I think we will talk later a bit more. So I just finished my pre-race activation. Uh, feel a bit heavy, but the uh, legs are turning pretty good, so I feel powerful and uh, yeah, it's a good feel. Oh, at least I have a good feeling for tomorrow. Uh, I will now go for a small spin with Shaz from Zip. Hey, for, what's up? For another video, <laughs> for yeah, for Zip. Yep. And then we will have a coffee, and then yeah, see you there. So I just want to run you through my setup for tomorrow, for the race. As always, Obea Terra, just a standard frame with a custom color. Um, Zip 303 Firecrest wheels with Schwalbe G1 RS 40 millimeter. I'm gonna ride 2.6 bar in the front and 2.7 in the back. Then I have the Explorer, uh, SRAM Explorer setup with a 10 to 44 KZ, the red uh, derailleur. Then I run the 50, to have chain ring in the front. It's pretty big, but um, it's a pretty fast course. I'm gonna use road pedals. I think the most guys and girls will use uh, mountain bike pedals, but I feel more comfortable on road, even though I might have to like clean the pedals or my shoes when I have to walk, but it's a risk, but I feel more comfortable. Then um, I have some yeah, spare parts in here in the frame. It's always like a tube and uh, yeah, new chain links and so on. Then my MON bottles uh, with my MON nutrition. And yeah, like a zip handlebar, arrow handlebar, my Hammerhead Cargo 2, Physic Zettel. Yeah, that's basically it. Just my standard setup. I'm usually not changing much around uh, on, on the bike. Maybe the tires and wheels and keep changing around, but uh, the rest stays always the same.
Yeah, so I've done um, all my rides for today and the last one before Unbound. Um, I've picked up my number, which is actually number 255. I will post the link to the tracking in the video description. Um, yeah, what well, else? We, we moved apartments, houses, rooms, however you want to call it, but we are now in Emporia, uh, close to the start. Uh, I can see a famous ice cream shop uh, outside the window, where it's at the moment raining pretty heavily and also thunderstorms. So um, it might be wet tomorrow. Uh, I still gonna <laughs> go with road shoes. <laughs> One change my tactics there. Um, yeah, just just went. Well, I had that walk over the expo, and uh, the start of the XL was already while well, I get dressed or well, changed from my right. So the guys and girls got a good view on my butt, and um, yeah, now I'm just in the hotel and pretty tired. I have to say, such days before the race. Are always really tiring like moving around picking up stuff uh, I didn't talk to too many people but uh, still a few things to do organizing stuff I had to bring all my food and spare parts and spare wheels to swim they're gonna support me in the race so yeah it's now I think 6 p.m. Uh, almost 6 p.m. and uh, I'm gonna make a small dinner now with like just oats and yogurt pretty simple and then I will try to go to bed really early which should be easy because I'm really tired and the activation was actually quite okay I felt heavy so like my legs felt like or well, they're full of water at the moment but that's normal after a rest day for me and also with eating a lot of carbs in the last days and yeah I'm looking forward to tomorrow